Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Femi Flash, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add texture to a background. There are different ways to stylize your image, but I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest, simplest, and best method that I use. It's so straight to the point, and it gives your image that effect and takes your image from good to better. You ready? Let's go. So now we're in Photoshop, and this image got a lot of reaction when I dropped it. People were asking me, how did you get this? So I'm just going to tell you straight to the point how I made the background, how it was. Um, this is the image already edited, and then I have the background folder here. So the first thing to do is place your image, and this is it when I place my image. This is how it looks straight to Photoshop. And then next thing to do is change your blending mode. So there are different blending modes here. I normally tend to use either multiply, overlay or soft light, depending on the effect you're trying to go for. But in this image, I used multiply. Now you can see that it's a little bit harsh and it doesn't really blend. Then next you have to max out your subject. To do that, just click on your subject, go to select and select subject literally the easiest way to do it in photoshop easiest way now you can see that it selected the subject but i don't want all this also to be part and this but not to worry because we can use our brush so click here and add a layer max it inverted the layer max for me so what you can just do is to hold on the layer max and click on command i easy Next, go to your brush. Make sure your opacity and your flow is on 100. I used a soft brush for this effect. Now we're going to max it. Remember, white reveals and black hides. And we're trying to hide it from it, so we change it to black. You can either click on this one or click on X on your keyboard to change the toggle. Easy, just max out. Just max out from all the places you don't want. Max out. Now, I don't want it on the tray also, so max it out. Max it out. I'm just painting this back in here. Let's see it out. And voila. Now we're done with this, but the image still looks a little bit distracting. So what you can do is reduce the opacity. So just reduce and see where it fits good. So I think 40 is a sweet spot. I'm going to leave it at 40. Yeah. This is fantastic already. But I also added a color balance. Now what I did in color balance was just to make the blacks here to blend with the whole theme of being brown and golden and this is the outcome but i'll show you the process i did nothing in mid-tones because we're mostly working with the shadows which is the black so i went to the shadows and i adjusted all this i adjusted basically this and there you have it you have from here to here we've come to the end of this video thanks so much for watching like if you learned a thing or two and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.